Hi everyone. Today we are glad to have Hilary here to share his experience with us. Hilary graduated from KTC in 2010. Then he furthered his studies at HKU and Oxford. He currently teaches English, drama, humanities, including history and geography, at a British International Secondary School in Mexico. He is also a fellow of Royal Asiatic Society and the first alumni manager in KTC. Hi, Hilary. So, can you share with us some of your unforgettable memories in KTC while studying? Yeah, sure.、Um, I would say、uh, the most unforgettable one was junior singing contests organized by the students' union.、Um, when I was a finalist, it was just so exciting. Everyone was so excited, and、um, when I was performing, they were trying to shake hands with me, and after that, you know, ask me for an autograph, and that was so fun and、um, so confidence boosting. So, what are the differences in the way of learning between Hong Kong and Mexico? As you have been a teacher in Mexico and studied in Hong Kong,、um, I would say the biggest difference seems to be the attitude towards homework.、Uh, but、um, being an international school, Mexican students are actually a minority in my school, even though Latin Americans. Are the majority, so I would say I'm not entirely sure if that's a Mexican way of learning,、um, but rather it might be just the British style. And I would say homework is definitely quite different. So even though some parents complain about、um, having insufficient homework, but some parents also complain about having too much homework. But in general, we really don't have that much homework in general. And so、um, I, I, I would say that's the biggest that's the biggest difference to me. Yeah. Which one is more effective, in your opinion?、Um, I would say,、uh, in terms of English learning, I, I think it's actually not a bad thing for for the students to have to have less homework in general. So I think what is in, what is what is effective in language learning is that you learn it、um, not by root learning, but you learn it with. Um, some authentic texts are、uh, learning because you are really interested. Although,、um, to be fair, since we are international school,、um, English is the lingua franca for many of our students, and so they do pick up English very quickly simply because they they have to talk to their friends in English, and so so that is. That is a big thing as well, but I think it's it's a good thing that、um, at home they don't overload themselves with a lot of work or you know memorizing a lot of vocabulary or whatever. Yeah. So what makes you want to work in Mexico?、Uh, I was interviewed by a Hong Kong、um, company, and then I was interviewed by、um, the Mexican school. In- initially, I was just、um, clicking everywhere, and I s- and I saw North America and. Um, but Mexico was the only option, and I thought, you know, why not? I've never been to、um, Latin America. It's a, it would be a very new and exciting experience, adventure even, for me. And obviously, Mexico has a lot of、um, native cultures, most famously being the Mayas. And so I thought it would be, it would would be a very interesting experience. So、um, and then when they gave me an offer, which was、uh, already late July. Um, a few hours after our interview, and、um, the offer was better than all the other ones that I had received, and so I basically said yes right away. You have also been actively volunteering and participate in activities. Have you ever felt like you are left with just a little private time because of all activities? So、uh, um, not really, because I I feel like all those things that I did were、um, enriching to my life. When I was volunteering a lot, I felt like my life had meaning. It's like I'm really、um, doing something with with my life. So I I, I didn't feel like you know I I hadn't enough、uh, private time or, or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you mentioned joining activities is,、uh, can make your life more meaningful. So. What's your future plan? Will you join more different activities or? Yeah, well,、um, I I would say、um, I would tr- I would try to to see if I could join if I could participate in 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 new and and refreshing things in the future. I I would never really rule out something like politics, but in general, I think I used to be a very big planner in my life. 
um, in the end, the life I had imagined was very different from the life that um, I ended up having. So I, I never, um, you know, never considered going to Oxford. I never thought about working overseas, for example. Um, and so I think it's good to have a plan, but um, it's best to keep an open mind as well. And, and that is what I will do. Your academic accomplishments are quite impressive. So can you tip us on how to study more effectively? Um, I would say the most important thing um, you can do is to pay attention in class. In public examinations, um, experienced teacher would definitely know what you need to know, what you need to practice, what you need to um, you know, acquire. And so I would say um, paying attention in class would be a very, very good thing for you to do. And um, the second thing is probably time management. And what will you suggest us to do if we want to work or study overseas? I would say um, the most important thing is not to worry about your chances. Uh, the only thing that would definitely um, you know, stop you from getting into um, a world's top university or working overseas uh, would be if you wouldn't apply. For that so I mean it's like you know people would say oh Oxford Cambridge Harvard Stanford oh you know they're so difficult to get into but I mean you, ne you never really know um, obviously applying uh, takes a long time as well because you need to submit a lot of different documents but you've never tried you never know I would say you just you just apply and let them decide for you um, you know if if, if if you failed then you know you, you, you take that as an experience and and learn how to make yourself better for your next application and it's the same with um, looking for a job overseas so a lot of people would say oh you know why would they hire a Chinese person to teach English um, I mean a lot of people do say that but you know I am I am a living proof that um, they do um, and so I would say really don't be don't worry about your chances don't feel like oh you know they're never going to accept me they're never going to hire me really try to apply and um, yeah. Thank you, Hilary, for sharing your experience with us. Your sharing has been truly inspiring. Thank you again for coming.